Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Crimson Sky along with Doc RJ basking under the night sky. So anyway, what we're here to do is to do a test run on a potential content that we'd like to place on the channel. And this would be the movie review section. So what we would like to cover when it comes to the movie reviews will be story aspects, uh, character development, the flow, the pacing, followed by acting elements. Did they pick the right actors and actresses to do the characters? Did they basically give you value when it comes to the story flow and the storytelling? And then finally, we'll probably take quick looks on tech aspects of it, lighting, uh, sound editing. So uh, just to do a quick run of that, what we're going to do is the movie Wonder Woman. Recent release, a lot of reviewers have said that it is probably one of the best, if not arguably the best, superhero film encompassing both DC and Marvel. Is that the truth? Is that the case? We'll find out. So why don't we start from the story aspect? Uh, what did you think about it? Anyway, this is Doc RJ from Animal Gamers also. So, unfortunately, I am one of those guys who think that Wonder Woman was a good film. Not a perfect film, but definitely a good film. Now, if you ask me, is it the best superhero movie ever? I'm sorry, but I have to say no. It is a far cry from The Dark Knight. Why do I think it this way? First off, actors were good. But Gal Gadot's acting, Wonder Woman's acting, passable but not great. I mean, if the movie showcases the other actors, she pales in comparison. I'm sorry, that's what I think. Why, why is that? If we were gonna, if we were gonna tackle the acting element, what was lacking? First off, I want to say that character development was okay in the beginning. Hmm. Right when she was a child, growing up, training under her aunt. It was her aunt, I'm not sure, yeah, I'm not very aunt. familiar her with her backstory in terms of comics. Honestly, who reads <laughs> uh, you, you, might, you, might, you might find quite a number right. of those, but anyway, Yeah, I know, I know, it's just me. Anyway, <laughs> training under her aunt and eventually learning how to fight and then getting a glimpse of her true potential. That was okay. The problem I had with the story or character development was that Back in Batman v Superman, the previous movie of DC, it was portrayed that she was tired or pessimistic of the human condition. And for me, this few minutes showing that she was fighting during World War I, which she took part of just one, two days? For me, it wasn't enough to justify her loss in respect and um, hope for humanity. Hmm. Just with those one to two days of fighting. That is what I do not understand in this movie. It could have been a good movie if they could have focused on her hmm. fighting the Great War in a more prolonged state. Everyone knows people experience this war in different hmm. ways. But in general, I think this exposure to what happened for a hero, for a superhero, was not enough for her to be that affected up to the present day. Uh, just pushing back on that idea a little bit more, would it have helped if a couple more scenes showing her afterwards, after World War I, developing further all the way to the present day, do you think that would have helped the cause? For me, maybe it could have, but I think, personally, I think it would have been better if, first off, spoilers, mm -hmm. <laughs> the person who died shouldn't have died until the very last part. How long did they know each other? Why did this guy sacrificing himself for the greater good this short of a time span mm -hmm. be such an impact on Wonder Woman? Mm -hmm. Wonder Woman doesn't know the real world. Maybe a little self-doubt or doubt with whoever she's interacting with. She acted um, very naive, in my opinion, towards other characters in this film. So you felt that uh, at least story-wise, pacing-wise, of the general structure of the film, that uh, could have been better, but there were sections that were rushed, perhaps? 
rushed or steamrolled over. You know, I mean, maybe some sections were cut short or... Mm. But personally, I think they did a good job mm. with the pacing. Unfortunately for me, the second half of the movie, when she was an adult already, mm. going into World War One, kind of rushed, not totally explaining her position on Batman v Superman. Okay, quick comments on the various acting elements. Everyone was good. Who's the girl from uh, House of Cards? I forgot her name. Over no, there, girl from House of Cards. She, she was did, good. She did pretty good. I have to agree with Mom that. Mom of Wonder Woman yeah, was that, good. Connie Nielsen really pulled that off pretty well. You Chris know, Pine. Sir, Chris Pine. Chris Pine was. Chris Pine was good. So were the supporting guys as well. Yes. Yeah. I, My I only complaint was sometimes I'm. Uh, I'm sorry for all those who love Gal Gadot, but sometimes her acting was a little flat in comparison to her co-star. Okay, then what about tech aspects? What did you think about the way the movie was done? Sound editing, lighting, cinematography, what do you think about it? It was good. Uh, no, it was great. Watching the movie, if you watch some aspects of the movie without knowing that this is a superhero movie, you would actually believe it was a war documentary. It was nice. I especially like the parts where they were in the foxholes. The camera work was tight. It was really focused on the individual actors portraying the soldiers in the film. It was really good for me. You think the director did a good job in at least capturing what she, what she was aiming to do in terms of pulling on the heartstrings and the emotional aspect of things? You might find me too biased mm. on this opinion, but I love the director. I love all her past films, and I think she did a perfect job on this one. Okay. Given her source material and everything she had, this was a perfect film for DC. But it's not as good as a Marvel movie. Coming from something that is an umbrella interest from a soundtrack, what did you think about the soundtrack? Was it appropriate for the scenes? Did it capture the vibe that was necessary per scene per picture? This is funny. I never actually thought about the soundtrack before you actually mentioned it. Mm. Um, I love the soundtrack, except for the freaking themes, Wonder Woman theme song that keeps on playing every time she does something epic i don't know it was off to me other parts of the movie with the soundtrack was good and then all of a sudden this this <laughs> guitar riff i don't know ever since <laughs> batman v superman came out with this guitar riff for wonder woman i never really liked it i still don't like it maybe it would have been better if they remastered it somehow mm -hmm. but that's my personal opinion. Uh, maybe some other people would like it, but for me, it was overkill. So that's all the time we've got for this section. Thank you very much for tuning in. We hope you have a great night.